Hey guys, uh, I had a request for a more detailed explanation of installing the Toshiba Bluetooth stack for use with the Wii U Pro Controller to PC program. So I am doing a video on that uh, in more detail. Uh, first thing you'll need to do if you already have a Bluetooth device and it's just not working with your software is you need to uninstall whatever Bluetooth software you have. If you're on Windows 10, you'll go into Settings, go to Devices, and then go to Device Manager. If you're on previous versions of Windows, you'll just go to Control Panel and go to Device Manager. Um, I believe in Windows 8, Device Manager is in the system control panel, it's not its own separate thing, but on Windows 7 it is its own control panel. But anyway, once you get into the device manager, you should see a Bluetooth tab section. Expand that and right click on everything in there and hit uninstall and delete driver software and hit OK. And once you get rid of that one, it usually takes out a couple with it. And then just go ahead and uninstall the other one. Delete software. Close that. You might also want to double check in your add remove programs. If you're on Windows 10, it'll be in settings under system, apps and features, previous versions of Windows, you will uh, need to go to the Add Remove Programs Control Panel. And in my case, since I was already using the Toshiba drivers, I know that there is an actual application here. So we'll scroll down and uninstall. And this will make sure that all Bluetooth software is removed from the computer. Because if you just try to install the new stack with other stuff installed, you get a conflict. It just might not work at all. Stuff can get confused. So just better to get rid of the old stuff before you even put the new stuff on. Probably save you time, save you some trouble in the long run. Once you get those done, go ahead and go to this website. There will be a link in the description. I've also updated the link in the other uh, Wii U controller uh, descriptions because for some reason the one method that I showed. Uh, they don't have the Bluetooth stack listed with all the regular drivers anymore. So this is a link to the most current version available. It will be in the description as well as the description of all the other videos. So hit download. I've already got downloaded so I'm not going to download it. But you know, download it. Here your downloads folder. Double click. Hit start. I'll go ahead and download this. Now that's working. Yes. Agreement. This will take a few minutes. Beep. 
and it is going to have to reboot after installing so there'll be a break and then I'll come back and go through setting up the program and the Bluetooth software is installed and when it first starts up it's going to pop up this automatic registration go ahead and uh, hit don't show this window next time and cancel because that's just not necessary and right click on the icon down here and go to Bluetooth settings and it should automatically bring up the connection wizard it might be a little different if uh, you're not actually using a Toshiba device I'm not sure but so go ahead and put your device in discoverable mode hit next find this next and now it's connected blinky then you'll go to the program open it up And it should just connect. We already moved the stick. It registers on there. Showing the battery status. I can control the LED. Rumble. And then all you have to do is configure your buttons however you want them, as explained in the other video. And you have to keep the program open. Close the program, it'll stop registering the controller. So just minimize it, play your game, and enjoy using your Wii U controller on your computer. That's all there is to it. I hope this uh, clears up questions anybody had, and if you like this video, hit the button, subscribe, check out my other videos, leave a comment if there's anything else you would like me to explain, and I will do a video on that. Thanks for tuning in and watching, and until next time, keep on gaming.